everyone. We're going to start today by cutting down this 4x8 piece of plywood down to size. I'm going to make uh, this first side uh, 14 inches. That'll be the top of the triangle. Uh, then we're going to make it uh, 2 feet long. So it'll be 2 feet by 14 inches and then cut across. So measured straight to the middle of the board, which is the board's 4 feet wide, 2 feet in the middle. Um, so this side is two feet, and then I just measured up 14 inches. That's the size I'm just choosing right now. Um, you can pick any size that you want. Always remember, kids, safety third. So we have uh, cut off the first chunk here, uh, two feet long here. 2 feet, 14 inches, we cut the second piece just a tad bit shorter than this one, so um, really the way you tell is by the thickness of your board. This is a 3 quarter inch board, I'm going to measure it to make sure though. And um, all you're going to do is offset it down here, uh, 3 quarters of an inch. So the next cut is um, 13 and a quarter inches. So right now I have the original board I cut sitting on top of the spot where I'm about to mark it. Um, so this side is 14 inches. If you took it here, I've offset it by uh, 3 quarters of an inch because that's how thick the plywood is. Uh, my plywood's a little dirty. It's been sitting out in the weather for too long, but that shouldn't really matter too much. The easy trick is once you get one started to cut, you just use the other one as your straight edge. and. Voila, you got your line all ready to go. Uh, we're going to screw in some screws along the edge there, and then, uh, all right, we're about ready to assemble. Always use a little drill bit to help out on these precision things, otherwise you can really risk splitting the wood and having to restart all over again. Okay, everything's been screwed in, um, and we're pretty much got the majority of it. Uh, look on the inside, there's just a little bit of white space showing, that's fine. Okay, we're ready to cut the top piece. Um, pretty easy, you just measure exactly what you see there and uh, cut it out of the board. Right, I like to keep it easy, so all I did was set the piece of wood on the other corner. Um, it's ready to do, and I'm just marked the two edges there and there. I'm just going to put a straight line across that, and uh, that'll be just... Here's the piece cut out, um, fits perfectly in here. Overhangs is just a little bit right here and uh, that will be trimmed off at the final step. All right, we have screwed on the top plate. A um, bunch of screws along that, and right there. The inside is really simple. This is gonna be really strong by itself. If you're really worried about strength, you can put chunks of two by four in here, which is a little large, it's a little excessive. Ideally, this is about a one by one square. Now, if you ran that down the whole way and in each direction, uh, that would be uh, nearly impossible to break. Um, might be a little overkill for your woody, and it just depends on how big the volume is itself. This is a pretty good size volume, so um, I don't think it needs it, but it wouldn't hurt to do it. Okay, one of the last steps is uh, taking down this edge on the corner. I've already done it on this right side. Over here, you can see how it's sticking out. Um, it sits on your climbing wall. It actually sits on your climbing wall fine, so you don't have to do this. This is an optional step. I just like to clean it up a little bit. Alright, here is the climbing volume. It's a pretty good size. As you can see on a wall, that is huge. It has a lot of different spots for you. Um, pretty sick thing all around. So all that's left is we're going to drill where we want to for T-nuts, and then I'm going to sand it down a bunch because uh, with the volume, you're, you're slapping it, you're hitting it, 